so hey guys this is another video tutorial of windows system programming in this tutorial we'll see how to create file mapping in ipc mechanism so file mapping is similar to the shared memory file mapping is local to the system and it cannot be used over the network this is the important point file mapping is always local to the system whenever we create a file mapping object this object is treated as a shared memory block so fourth one is the application where we use the file mapping it is useful when live information between processes is changing frequently so here the example is that if suppose we have a multiple information resources then first process is obtain the information second process will change the information or read or write operation third process is displaying the information on the screen fifth is the most important point is that whenever we use the file mapping object then require some synchronization techniques otherwise another process contaminate the information how file mapping works there are three way we uh, there are three ways an application to share file mapping object first one is the inheritance second one is the named file mapping and third one is the handle duplication the here the generalized form of working first process always create the file mapping object and second process we say child obtain the handle from the parent process so in this diagram there is a process 1 will create a file mapping object so process 2 will use this object to communicate between the process in a block memory so we have seen earlier there are three ways we can share this file mapping object first one is the inheritance so process p1 create one file ma file mapping object and it returns one handle so this handle is used by the process 2 for the communication between process 1 and 2 second one is the named file mapping named file mapping simply we are providing the name of our mapping object so p1 create my handle and process 2 use that my handle name third one is the handle duplication process p1 create file mapping object and let's say the handle name is handle xyz so process 2 create a copy of the existing handle and use for the communication so here are the programming steps server or parent side will use some api first one is the create file mapping second one is the map view of file third one is the copy memory and fourth one is the unmap view of file in client side open file mapping second is the map view of file then print your data means suppose we are reading the data from the server or parent side fourth one is the unmap view of file and fifth one is the close handle map view of file or unma un unmap view of file is a pointer which locate the memory block where it start and where it's end so first api is create file mapping function so creates or open a named or unnamed file mapping object of the specified file so here i'll i'll not use the create file api directly i'm using the create file mapping api function so return type of that function is the handle first one is the handle h file if you see here if h file is invalid handle value the calling process must also specify a size for the file mapping object in the maximum size high or maximum size low so by default it will create second one is the security attribute so i'll keep it here null protection mode so protection mode there are various macro here so i'll use here ps read write this macro so always view to be map for read only copy on write or read write access fifth one is the maximum size high and maximum size low so i'll the order is like that means high where we have to read where we have to end so we are starting from the zero and i'll end up up to 256 so read here the for more information and lp name this is the optional parameter we can put here null so it becomes the unnamed file map object otherwise if you are providing the name some name for that so it behaves like named file mapping object so the function succeed the return values handle to the newly created file mapping object 
otherwise return value is null we can print with the help of get last error function so here are the server side or parent side I have already write the some Mac variable for that so h file map I'll use the create file map mapping function first argument is I'll write here invalid handle value so it will create by default memory block for that protection mode I'll use security attribute so security attribute keep it here null third is the file protection mode so file protection mode I'll write here page read write page read write and maximum size low so it start reading from the 0 up to the 256 bytes of memory and name is like local and name is my file map that's it and check for the condition if h file map equals to equals to false then we can print here the error message with the help of get last error function and end of this line so create file mapping failed and error number we can print with the help of get last error function if the function succeed then we can print here file mapping success so success we have done first first step second is the map view of file so map view of file this is the pointer the return type of that function is the void pointer it takes the five argument first one is the edge uh, file mapping object so handle and desired access file offset high file offset low and number of bytes to map how many numbers of bytes you have to map so see here the handle of the create file mapping otherwise open file mapping so we simply we have to pass it here and desired access I'll use here file map all access read write view of the file is already mapped there are various APIs so I'll not cover all these things a high order divide value so I'll in this offset high and offset low I'll put it here 0 0 for that so divide of the offset where is means 0 where we have it begins and where we have to end of this file there is a meaning and number of bytes how many numbers of bytes in a file you have to map so I'll put it here 256 and return value starting address of the map view of file and function field return null so there is a I have already created the car pointer here because the return type is the void so I'll type cast it here p care and then I'll use map view of file first argument is handle so I'll pass it here edge file map handle second one is the desired access so file map all access map all access uh, offset high so offset high 0 and offset high zero, uh, low for 0 number of bytes so p 256 bytes of memory we have already mapped so check the condition if lp buffer equals to equals to null so print here 
get last error end of this line and print the message map view of file failed and error number we can print with the help of get last error function and just use here print here message success success third step is copy memory function so copy memory function it copies a block of memory from one location to another location the return type of that function is the void type it return nothing so first argument is the destination then source and length of buffer so i'll use here copy memory function so copy memory function and destination so destination is our destination is lp buffer because we have here in map view file this is the destination lp buffer source is source is this thing here this buffer is source so we have already put the string hello from file map server then size of that buffer so this step is completed the return type is nothing so no need to write any condition unmap view of file so unmap view of file unmaps a map view of file from the calling process address space so return type is the bool type and uh, it will take the lp base address base address means this this address because this create a it blocks of memory which will share between the processes so i'll use here b result equal to unmap on map view of file and this one lp buffer and check the condition if if b result false then print the error message get last error function end of this line and print here message and map view of file field and error number we can print with the help of get last error function file success <coughs> so here success so now we have completed the server or parent side coding so now move to the child or client side so first step is that open file mapping so open file mapping here if you see opens a named file mapping object so return the handle type and uh, first one is the desired access mode we have to write then inherit handle and then the name of our map view file object so desired access if you see here i'll use file map all access and inherit handle i don't want to inherit so i'll put it here false and name name whatever we have created from the create file mapping function see here the return type of that function is function succeed the return value is open handle to the specified file mapping object otherwise null 
and don't forget to read the remarks section so I have already H file map here open file mapping function and then first we have to use the access so file map all access then inherit handle no so right here false third one is the name so name name I have just copied in the create file mapping function so name would be just copy and paste it here and check the condition so if h file map equal to equal to null then get last error end of this line and open file map failed and error number with the help of get last error function and just copy here and paste it down so here success second step is map view of file similar to whatever we have used the map view of file api in parent or Ser server third step is reading the data from the file map object so we have to write simply see out and we are reading from this buffer means this pointer so end of this line and use the data reading from server or parent process and fourth argument is unmap view of file and close handle so I'll use your close handle function and pass the handle of this so. so we have done the child process coding so now it's time to build our application so I'll build build succeeded and now the parent sorry child it's done so first I'll run the file mapping server or parent application so I start see here the create file mapping success map view of file success and unmap view of file success now it's time to run the client side or child process see here so whatever we have passing the information from the process server or parent it's printing here hello from file map server or child process so this was the basic program of uh, how to use the file mapping in IPC mechanism thanks for watching this video do hit comment share and subscribe this channel